today I'm going to show you how I make my homemade granola muesli and this is just a real favorite in our house that we have uh, quite a few times a week and we simply just have this with um, a low fat vanilla yogurt um, so I will just show you what you'll need to make this muesli you will need five cups of rolled oats three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans a third of a cup of slivered almonds then a third of a cup of pepitas or these pumpkin seeds then another third of a cup of sunflower seeds a third of a cup of dried currants and three quarters of a cup of dried cranberries now you will also need a preheated oven and I've preheated mine to 180 degrees Celsius and you will also need a baking sheet and some parchment paper so you're going to take your baking sheet just covered in some parchment paper and start adding your ingredients so this is the really easy part so I'm going to add the rolled oats okay and the chopped pecans just sprinkle those over and some of these slivered almonds okay next go in your sunflower seeds sprinkle those over and they're really good for a bit of crunch in your muesli and I love these pumpkin seeds I can just eat them on their own they're really um, they're a really nice snack so at this stage they're all the ingredients that I'm going to add I'm actually not adding in the dried fruit just because I found in the past that the high content of the sugar in the dry fruit can make uh, make it burn in the oven so what I want to do is just really get these uh, nuts and oats and seeds really well toasted up in the oven so I'll just give that a quick mix through and just make sure that it's nicely incorporated okay and I'm just spreading it out fairly evenly on the baking sheet so it browns up as evenly as possible okay so what I'm going to do next is just to pop in this tray into my preheated oven and I'm going to bake it for eight minutes then at that stage I'll take it out give it a quick stir and pop it back in the oven for about five to seven minutes and you know use your judgment if it's not brown enough for you then pop it back in for longer or even take it earlier if you don't like it really well toasted um, another thing just to mention is that some people might like adding some sort of syrup at this stage so uh, whether it's a maple syrup or honey or something like that or even agave syrup um, I prefer not to do that I find that the dried fruit and the yogurt that we eat with the muesli already has plenty of sugar um, so I want to avoid adding anything anything else to it but if you do if that's the kind of muesli you prefer then go ahead and add a syrup at this stage and uh, go ahead and bake it in the oven the muesli has been cooking in the oven for a total of 15 minutes and I did take it out halfway through and just gave it a quick stir um, so all that's left to do now is just to add the dried fruit and I just do that after the cooking's obviously been all done and the muesli is still nice and warm so the fruit will release some of its sugars in there okay and I'll just stir that through nice and evenly and then all I'll do when that's done is leave the muesli to cool down and once it's fully cool then I'll just pop that into an airtight container and um, and that keeps for quite a while um, and this this amount will generally last us for a couple of weeks um, and then I pretty much just make a fresh batch again so that's my homemade muesli